Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. I want to take a quick second and shout out all the channel members. Thank you guys. I appreciate you all more than you know. And I want to take a second to thank any of you who've come in to just check out the Knife and EDC content. Welcome. I appreciate you. And if you're so inclined, if you get the chance, please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. It'll keep you updated on the channel and it'll really help me out. Today is an overview of a knife that was sent to me by Vostie Cutlery last week. And this is a knife that I became familiar with at Blade Show 2023 when it was just a prototype. And this is the Vosteed Mink fixed blade. It is a little fixed blade, an EDC fixed blade, that fits the hand very comfortably. It has, according to the specs, micarta scales um, that are held on really nicely with this T8 bolt system that is um, actually fixed on the back side. What I mean by that is if you're going to take these scales off to dry it, or to make sure that you didn't have moisture behind the scales, They come off very easily because you've got this D-shaped barrel at the back to make these scales very easy to remove. So you can see there, to me it looks like maybe a, a sealed micarta but you've got this abel whoops nitro v steel i just said abel i don't know why i said that but you've got nitro v steel the prototype was 14c and then you've got this nice fastening system again with these d-shaped bolts that simply slide in once you get them slid in they face towards the back whoops so those guys go in like so you've got a lanyard tube at the back those on Pop that scale on, and you've got these really nice, tall fasteners. T8s. And they just pull those scales tight. When I first saw this knife in 2023, again, it was a prototype, it was a blade show, and they did not yet have a retention method or how they were going to do the sheath. And they did a really good job coming up with a sheath that I've modified for my carry. But I will show you guys it came with, let me find my little, uh, what did I do with it? I had the little tech lock up here that it came with. Hold on. Here it is. So I put a deep concealment carry clip on the sheath. But the sheath came with this small sized tech lock, which allows you to mount it horizontally if you want to carry it scout. Mount it vertically, 
mount it diagonally, and then just clip it over your belt. I removed that just so I would have the option to slide it in my pocket, right? So this will slide down in your pocket and lock over. And then when you put the sheath in, you've got absolutely no rattle, great retention. The sheath flies off. And this Nitro V blade is done very well. I would not call this quote unquote, a hard use batoning type of knife. I look at it more of an EDC cutter, a skinner, a knife that I'm gonna use like I would my folder, but use it with more, um, what would you say, more confidence? Cause it's a fixed blade. Let me break out a piece of paper real quick. We'll do a little cutting with it. Then we'll do a couple of size comparisons. But what surprised me about the knife You've got this nice kind of drop point, almost Bowie style blade, um, very, very thin. You do have a small sharpening choil here. It could be cut in a little more. That would be one improvement I could see is if that sharpening choil was cut up in a little more. But the knife feels great in the hand. It's extremely slicey. Four fixed blade, thin blade stock. I think for cutting cardboard, breaking down cardboard, um, your everyday cuts, opening packages, skinning game, saving slurpees, whatever the case may be, I think the knife just really feels good in the hand. It has what I consider to be very neutral ergos. It's got good weight. It's weighted kind of behind the first two fingers. You've got jimping here and here. So you've actually got jimping in two places depending on where you're bearing down or where you need your tension to be when you're making your cuts. Um, I think that's pretty well thought out. And again, the grip feels very comfortable in my hand. It's not too rough, but it does have good um, grip, so to speak. And also, the way these scales come off, I look at this as being a really good platform for anybody who like to make scales, to do custom scales. You could easily make a set of scales for this knife if that was something you were into. Let's do a couple of quick size comparisons and see how this guy breaks into some knives that we might be familiar with. Let's look at it next to our Satu Dave Cold Steel 4 Max and our Civivi Baby Banter. And we will see that it is much smaller than the Cold Steel 4 Max and it is going to be much bigger than the Civivi Baby Banter. Let's look at it next to the Benchmade Bug Out. See, it's just a little bit smaller than the Bug Out, which means it's going to be a good bit smaller than our Paramilitary 2. About the same size as the Bug Out. And if you look at the blade stock, it's a little thicker than the bug out, but not a lot. So let's look at it next to a couple of fixies. And then we'll get a couple of weight and measurement. Let's look at it next to my coal, or excuse me, my SE3, big boy knife, and my Bradford Guardian 3. It's about the same length as the Guardian 3, but a good bit thicker, a good bit larger package. Well, let's see what that means if we break our little tape measure out. We'll get you some measurements on this Vosteed Mink. 
I went to the Vosteed website. I've not seen this yet at a retailer site, and I will link the Vosteed site in my description. But I want to say this is knife is listing for $69 in Nitro V with the sheath and the tech lock. So right under seven and a quarter inches, blade length three and a quarter, cutting edge three and an eighth, handle three and three quarters, where I grab it behind the choil, three and three quarters. So when I say where I grab it, three and three quarters from right here to right here. And then we will take our mic meter and we will see that our blade thickness is 0 0.1200 our handle thickness is 0 0.4495 0 0.45 and our behind the edge thickness is going to range from right about 0 0.0135 to 0.0150 so very thin behind the edge, very agile little cutter, and a very light little EDC knife. I've been carrying it in my back pocket, just like so, and then when I want to pull it, I just use my thumb to push it out of the way. Now it's going to be a little lighter without the tech lock. First we'll weigh it to get our carry weight. So 4.3 ounces, and the knife's 2.8 ounces. So I think it's a very, very nice package from Vosteed. I was very excited to see it at Blade Show, to see that they were working on a fixed blade. I was stoked to be able to bring the Proto home, and I was very impressed to see the sheath and the retention system that they came up with. Got a nice drainage hole there. You've got plenty of mounting options for any type of retention system that you want to carry it with. And then it ships with this really nice tech lock um, that allows you to carry it on your belt really any way you want to. But guys, that is the Vosteed Mink Fixed Blade Nitro V in black and uh, sand or stone washed. I'll leave a link in the description. I appreciate each and every one of you watching my content. All that I ever ask is if you would, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.